All right, it's experimenting time again. So our last experimental bunch was kind of a bust, I guess a 50-50 thing uh, with the, the Jolly Ranchers and the gummy bears and the Oreos and the string cheese, all the watermelon, all that. It was a learning experience. That's what we're gonna call it. And that's why, you know, I like to do it. Just a few things on, on the tray things that we were curious about but we didn't necessarily want to do a whole batch um, unless we had heard really great things that we knew for sure it was going to work we didn't want to risk that so because it's a lot of time just to do one batch huh. and I'm a mess I've been chopping and preparing so this batch what we got in here is two trays of guacamole so we got a bunch of avocados on a really good sale. And so I'll put the recipe on the blog, but uh, basically, basically it was just the avocados with some lime juice, a can of tomatoes, some garlic, cilantro, and an onion. So mix all that together and there's our, our guacamole. So guacamole on the top two, this middle rack, we wanted to try just some chunks of avocados and also some cucumbers. We were kind of curious how cucumbers will turn out. So we got our avocado chunks and cucumbers. And then these bottom two racks, we're doing more asparagus because it's still on sale at the store for like 98 cents a pound. We're stocking up. So we're, we're getting a little creative. Um, the plain asparagus is great. We tried garlic salt asparagus and ooh, that was salty. So this time, what we're doing is we have those popcorn seasonings. Oh, here, let me show you. We have popcorn seasonings. We have sour cream and onion and dill pickle. So what we did, dill pickle on the bottom, sour cream and onion on the top. And we've got one tray of each. We're just gonna see how it turns out, right? I, I was able to fit two bunches of asparagus on each tray. So, um, and I just, I cut, basically I cut the bottoms off and then I cut them in thirds after that. So they're about two to three inch pieces. So pretty easy. This is a pretty low prep one. Um, the avocado was about the hardest. Other than that, you're just slicing. So not too bad. So I'm gonna put it not frozen and we've already loaded the food and closed the drain valves. So we're gonna go ahead and hit continue and it's freezing so we'll see i'm kind of expecting with it being the guacamole um i'm kind of thinking it might be a good 24 hours but we'll see all right so i ended up adding six extra hours of dry time because last night this is on the guacamole and the avocado and cucumber and um, asparagus. <laughs> Forgot what we had in there. Um, last night, so I ended up adding six extra hours because when we went to bed, it was just finishing on the bar progress. It was about 80% done. So I didn't want it to just sit. So I figured it's better to have it extra dry time than anything. So I added six extra hours. Um, Right now it's got just under an hour left, but that's of the extra six hours I did. So it's okay to stop it at this point because this was extra hours anyway, first thing this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. Let's see how our guacamole turned out. So I'm gonna hit cancel. And now it's saying open drain valve to vent. So it will just go ahead from here. Okay, I got our drain valve. The drain valve is venting. And let's see, let's see how we did. I'm gonna turn the camera actually. All right, so with the extra five hours, it looks like this batch was 38 hours, which I, I expected it to go a little longer anyway because of the guacamole, but we'll kind of look at it real quick through there. But, now we can open this up and let's see how we did. All right, so <laughs> the guacamole pulls off so easy. Oh my gosh, it smells 
just like guacamole it smells really good so that's ready let's see how these did interesting okay so these are kind of like styrofoamy like the um well like a lot of stuff ends up being freeze-dried so I think but look at the color I was curious if these would go brown so I didn't dip these in lemon or lime juice or anything and look at that beautiful color they didn't go brown at all and then here we have our cucumber slices those are gonna be fun to try and then these are our two rows so the top one is sour cream and onion and the bottom one is dill pickle if I remember correctly so I might have to go back and watch my video to test them but I think that's how the order I put them in so I'll have to make sure I keep them in order when I take them out all right well I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out and bag them up all right I'm gonna show you the results of this uh, freeze dry run. So, first of all, this is the guacamole bagged up. So, on that picture you saw just before this, the easiest way that I found for the guacamole, because when I put it on the trays, I spread it out, right? Like it was just guacamole. So, I just spread it along the trays until it was covered good. Uh, when it dries, it's like one sheet. <laughs> and so, but, I mean, it breaks apart easily because it's dried and like a lot of freeze-dried sauces and stuff. So what I found was the easiest was to use that scooper tool, which is seriously the best tool ever. You, you need to get one. You'll love it. Um, I used the blade of it and I cut, I just cut lines. So I just cut rows and made squares and then it scooped it up. And once you put them in the bags, you can break them up. So like, I mean, these chunks right there they break up, it breaks up really easy so you can do that with I mean look at it you can you can crumble and break them up so easy um, which is nice when you're filling these uh, when you're filling your bags because you can break them put them I put them in big chunks and then break them up and then shake it and you can fit more in but it cuts down from the mess and the crumbs and things like that a lot so this is the guacamole packaged up um, now I've heard guacamole doesn't have very long shelf life. Um, some people have said they only last like three weeks. Some people said three months. And granted, anything that you bag up in these clear window bags is going to have a shorter shelf life. If you really want the long shelf life, you want the seven milliliters Mylar bag. Um, and so they're completely covered and everything. But I'm going to go ahead and reconstitute. I haven't reconstituted this yet. So I wanted to do it on the video and I'm going to, I'm going to add water and let it sit while I show you the other stuff. But this way you can see it done live. I thought that would be a little more fun. So, and I, I was going to put it in a bowl, but then I was like, wait, this has got a window. I'll just do it in this. So we can all see the whole process. So I got my cup of cold water and I'm just seriously going to eyeball and estimate. So this may... <laughs> it may end up runny, but we'll see. So I've got to actually, I may not even need my spoon since I have the bag, which is kind of a cool benefit of these bags. If you're camping and stuff, look at that. I might need to add a little more. I thought I had, oh my gosh, that reconstituted way fast. I need to add just a little more water because there's a little on top that's kind of dry. I won't add too much, just a little, just a touch. Um, all right. Actually, you know what? I'm going to zip it. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Look at that. I can zip it and then I can really do it and not have to worry about a mess at all. Coolest invention ever. How cool is that? Okay. So I can tell it's a little runny. That last bit of water I added, I may not have needed to, but I'm going to let it sit because it may just take a couple of minutes. Let's see if I tilt it, how runny it is. Oh, not too bad. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. That's just a decent guacamole consistency. But okay, I'm gonna let this sit for a minute while I show you the other product, prod, products, projects, what the other experiments, the other stuffs, um, and we'll let it sit for just a second. Because usually freeze dried food takes just a couple of minutes to fully absorb the water. Um, 
All right, so here is our dill, dill pickle flavored asparagus. Um, so I tried these right out, like, but it was like, you know, early morning. It was like eight o'clock in the morning, and I was like, and I, so I purposely haven't had any since. So I just wanted to see, you know, the dill flavor. It doesn't smell real strong. I'm trying to see if there's not really, I may not have put enough of that seasoning on. You can see this one's kind of got a film. That's the seasoning powder stuff. I love these. These are really good. Um, not super strong dill flavor. I mean, a little bit, but I think, uh, I think if we season these again. So I was so careful because when we did the garlic salt, I really didn't use that much, and they were salty. Um, some people try them, they don't think they are. I thought they were. So, I've been super careful with the other seasonings, because I was afraid they, like, I thought maybe freeze-drying intensified the flavor. But, I think these need more. So, okay, but I mean, the asparagus, oh my gosh, these are so good. It's like Cheetos, but they're healthy. <laughs> like, like, as far as the texture and the crunch and... Yeah, these would be like a really healthy snack. Then, now I got, just like with Cheetos, you get the cheese stuck in your teeth. Yeah, I have like asparagus stuck in my teeth. Um, sour cream and onion. Okay. Mm, I could smell a little bit. I just want a little piece because I still got asparagus stuck in my teeth. So kind of the same thing. You see the little powder on there? Um, yeah. They're still mild. But you can tell a difference. There is definitely a different flavor from the other ones. So sour cream and onion. Like I said, the asparagus chips are just amazing anyway. Here is the avocado. I have to say, I was so impressed with this, and I have no idea what I'm going to use these for. No idea. I'm like, the possibilities are endless, right? Um, I'm thinking like, you could do tuna avocado sandwiches, you could, uh, there's just, there's so much you could do. Or chicken avocado, ooh, chicken avocado sandwiches. There's a lot. I don't know if you can necessarily reconstitute them like this, it would take some experimenting. But look at the beautiful color. I was just blown away how pretty they stayed. The color is all right there. I mean, they're totally dry. I didn't I didn't dip them in anything. Like literally, we cut them, put them on the trace. So like they did not turn brown. I was half expecting them to just turn brown, but they really didn't. I'm just so impressed with those and they look so pretty. So um who actually if you could get them, if you could do like half avocados like this, you could totally fill them with something and then eat it like, like a filled avocado, but the avocado would be like a shell, like a taco shell or something, you know, like, that would be kind of cool. That, what a fun novelty. Huh. I'll have to look at that idea. Anyhow, super impressed with those. Then we have our cucumber slices. So... I had all sorts of ideas and thoughts about these when I was thinking about them. And, woo, strong cucumber smell. Um, so, I cut them fairly thin. Um, and they turned out exactly as I pictured. I, this is exactly how I thought they would turn out. Somebody was talking about the seeds. I left the seeds in. Somebody was saying something about the seeds. They didn't think the seeds would freeze dry. I don't know. That was weird. I never heard that. Um, mine seemed to freeze dry just fine. So, um, but anyhow, yeah, it's just like a chip, but a strong cucumber flavor. Ooh, very strong. Um, very strong cucumber flavor. I think now I, I like cucumbers normally. I don't know if these are just really strong, but I'm not a big fan. Um, they definitely have a strong cucumber flavor. 
But uh, I think these might be better if they were seasoned with a little bit of salt. Or I was thinking maybe if you slice the cucumbers, soak them in vinegar overnight, and then do just a touch of salt. So they'd be like a salt and vinegar cucumber. I bet they'd be really good. Now, this would be another healthy snack if you're wanting like the potato chip crunch and texture, but the health, that would be cucumber slices. So I think we're going to keep trying a few versions of these. I'm going to try them with, with some vinegar and I even have flavored vinegar. So I might try some of that and uh, we'll experiment some more. So stay tuned for that coming up in future videos. We're going to have some fun with cucumbers. Um, all right, let's look at our guacamole. Oh, look at that. Let's see. Yeah. Do you see how thick it is now? A minute ago, it was like a little runny. That just, that happens just with, as it sits up. So I'm going to try some. I had to, I just swipe my daughter's chips because I never buy chips. But we just happened to have one little bag of chips and she volunteered them for me. So I want to see if this is as good as it was when I made it fresh. So look at the color and everything though. So um, this basically was just avocados, onions, and lime juice, and a garlic, and a can of tomatoes, like Italian stewed tomatoes. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay. That tastes just as it, just as good as it was when I first made it. Okay. Avocado is a winner. Um, I'm curious what people were saying about them, how it doesn't last. Now, some foods that are higher in fat, the fat content, oh, I could just seriously eat this, this whole packet right here, just, anyhow, um, foods with high fat content don't always, um, last long with the freeze drying, like you can freeze dry them, but too high of fat content, you can't, it, it gets hard. Um, but they still aren't shelf stable because the fat doesn't always freeze dry completely and then it goes rancid. But you can freeze dry high fat content foods and then vacuum seal them in jars and that will extend their shelf life. So I'm going to kind of experiment with this guacamole because some people were saying how it had a shorter shelf life than they wanted. I may freeze dry some and then put it in jars, vacuum seal it in jars, and then it should be just fine. And really, when you vacuum seal in jars, you can reseal using the same lid over and over. So you could literally open the jar, unseal it, take a few spoonfuls out, put the lid back on, use your vacuum machine, seal it right back up. So you could do that. Um, guacamole would be one that would be worth having and <laughs> doing that with. Oh my gosh, yeah, fresh guacamole. Oh, so, so good. Totally worth it. You should try it. Awesome. So impressed. Um, all right, so there's that. Please remember to like and subscribe and come join us in the Facebook group for more ideas. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And be sure to head over to our Facebook group, Freeze Drying Adventures with What88, to see more posts and information.